Hey there, guys and gals. Brank here again, bringing another uh, Black Desert Online guide to fail stacks and why they're important. So, what we want to go over in this video is how to build fail stacks and why you want to build fail stacks. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned, keep watching. All right. So, what we look at when we are looking or talking about fail stacks is we need to build fail stacks, which means failing on stacking two items together or putting black stones into armor or into weapons. And the reason that we want to do that is because the higher fail stack we have, the higher plus or increased percentage chance we have to succeed on our next try to combine two things. In other words, if I want to make plus 15 armor, to get from 15, 14 to 15 is very, very difficult. Um, so I want to have a lot of plus fail stacks before I attempt to do that. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to bring up the black spirit and look at the enhancement. And if you notice, I only have a uh, plus nothing fail stack, right? So I have no pluses. I'm going to put in a couple of rings, which you could buy on the auction house or farm for yourself and put those into the black spirit enhance uh, enhancement to try to get a fail stack. I don't actually want to plus these things up. I want to get my fail stacks up. So I'll start by putting a ring in there and then I'll put the same ring on the other side, which tries to combine them. Um, that way, if I fail, I get a, I get a plus fail stack, which you'll see that number go up when I try this. The other thing is, um, if it succeeds, well, then I'll get a plus one to that item, which I keep, and I'll explain why we keep those later. Okay, so that one's failed. That one gave me a plus one now to my fail stack. So the next time I try to combine something, which I'm going to try to combine another two rings, it has a higher percentage chance of succeeding. Um, I'm not going to go over the exact numbers on here. There's plenty of uh, Reddit posts and stuff out there to tell you how, uh, or the exact numbers. So that one fails. So now I'm going to plus two fail stack. So I'm going to try these other rings, see if they succeed. If they fail, I'll be at a plus three. Now there's different theories on how high you want to get to, depending on what you're actually trying to succeed at. Um, rings are, uh, from what I've read and what I've encountered in the game, the best way to succeed at getting fail stacks and then you know try to apply a plus to your armor or a plus to your weapon. So um, get those fail stacks up before you try to put that blackstone in your armor um, after a certain point. And I'll try to post some of those uh, numbers in at least the basic numbers in the uh, description for this video. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm running to my warehouse because that's where I have my clothes, which is something that I've been trying to get stacked um, because I want to get a uh, plus two clothes, which is very hard to get. You need fairly high fail stacks to have even a decent chance of getting plus two and even plus three um, clothes, uh, which I've been using for, I've got cooking clothes and fishing clothes and training clothes so I can train horses, fish efficiently and increase my cooking XP. Um, but that's another thing that you can use for, for getting fail stacks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my, uh, warehouse here in a second and I'm going to put combine two of the clothes together and see if I can build up my fail stacks. Now the reason that you want to build these fail stacks for obvious reasons to increase the chance that you're going to be able to uh, succeed at whatever you're trying to succeed at but keep in mind if you succeed at putting those two rings together or putting you know something you didn't really want to put together all of your fail stacks go away. So fail stacks are valuable. You have to remember that the fail stacks are a valuable commodity in the game because if you're putting two things together um, that you look, can look on the auction house to see the you know estimated value of these things, um, if you're putting two things together that aren't worth much and you succeed at it, it's going to kind of suck. But like I said, the reason that you want to keep it is because then at that point I have a plus one, you know, ring. Maybe it's not a valuable ring, but it is valuable to me when I'm trying to build 
my next round of fail stacks because what I can do is put in a plus one ring and a regular ring of that same type and try to build a fail stack off of that, which is even easier because that means I'm trying to build a duo or a plus two ring or, you know, whatever the item is. So it's important and, and you got to remember what your fail stacks are. And like I said, on that enhancement window, it tells you exactly what your fail stacks are, are on that character. And it's independent of, of account, it's per character. So you might have an alt with 20 fail stacks, whereas your main character or in any other alt only has zero or one. So it is per character. And in fact, on the character screen, it does show you the amount of fail stacks that you have on a character so that you so it, it kind of helps you to remember if you forgot where you have a lot of fail stacks on <clears throat> or what account or what character you've been using to build fail stacks on. So um, keep in mind when I'm plussing these clothes or trying to get plus one on these clothes, um, those are fairly difficult to get plus one on them, but they're very expensive. The reason that you want to use rings and jewelry at first to, to build your plus stacks up is because they're usually generally cheaper. You can find rings for 30,000, 40,000 in, you know, in between the 30 and 50,000 silver range. Whereas clothes for the most part, the cheapest I believe are the fishing clothes. And those are about a hundred to 200,000, I think, yeah, about 200,000 silver each. So it's, probably not good for me to actually be trying to use these clothes at, a, at only a plus three, but you know, whatever, <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm trying to build these fail stacks. I fail at that one. And then I put my cook's clothes in there and I actually fail at those as well. Uh, you'll see that in a second. But the reason that I'm building my fail stacks up is I'm trying to get, like I said, the plus two on the clothes um, that I'm using because it gives you a little bit better bonus. And I'll probably go over the clothes in a completely different video. Um, I was actually thinking of doing it in this one, but I think it makes more sense to kind of sp spread them out. So I'm just going over fail stacks. So building those fail stacks, keep in mind, it's important. It is valuable because if you get high enough fail stacks, you could put two things together that are going to net you a lot of money or put a black stone in a weapon that is increasing the value of that weapon or armor by quite a substantial amount. So don't take those fail stacks lightly. They're actually, I mean, they, they really translate into in-game currency. Also keep in mind, it is totally random. Even if I have you know, 20 fail stacks, that does not mean I am going to succeed at a particular, you know, combination of items. It doesn't mean, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't guarantee success. It just increases that RNG, that random number that's being generated to determine whether you succeed at it or not. So don't always assume that just because you build a lot of stacks that you're going to get something. And it does, it is, it is a fairly frustrating system. Um, that's why for the most part, I try to just earn some silver and buy all the stuff that I want. Um, because sometimes it's just not worth it. And it is fairly frustrating. So if you have having a hard time at it, don't worry about it too much. Just, you know, maybe earn some money and buy the gear that you need. Um, cause it's going to get, it's going to get frustrating if you're just trying to build fail stacks and do this stuff, but it is kind of a, a mini game in the game, like almost everything else in this game to where you want to, uh, you can actually earn money doing it. If you get really good at knowing what items to buy at knowing, uh, what items to put together to get your fail stacks up without succeeding and then succeeding on whatever item you want to succeed on, you actually could earn a pretty decent amount of money doing that. And I know there's been a few, few people that I've talked to that have earned quite a bit of money in the game just doing that. Um, it's just how you want to play the game. Everything in this game. That's what I that's what I am enjoying about this game is there's a lot of different things that you can do in the game, either to earn money or just to have fun, just to, you know, kind of play with different systems in the game. It's almost like five or six different games in one. So that's kind of the basics of fail stacking. Hopefully this explained a little bit on how fail stacking works and how you want to build your fail stacks up and why you want to build your fail stacks up. Um, I know when I first started looking at this, a lot of the stuff didn't make a whole lot of sense. So as always, if you have any comments or questions about fail stacks, go ahead and post them in the comments below. I am again, not saying I am a master expert on, on fail stacks or any, anything in particular in this game, 
but there may be somebody else that reads the comment and can answer the question. If I don't know the answer or if somebody else doesn't know the answer, maybe we can help each other out. So please leave your comments. And if you're enjoying these videos that I've been posting on Black Desert Online, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing uh, more Black Desert videos. I'm also going to be doing some videos on some local co-op games um, with my son coming up and give you a little bit different perspective on some local co-op games. So if you enjoy that, check it out. Thanks, guys.